Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design reinforced concrete beams using the concrete beam detailing module that's available within RAM Elements. This detailing module can design reinforced concrete beams in conjunction with the RAM Elements main application model. If we turn our attention over to our screen, you will see that we have already created a three-story concrete structure in RAM Elements. We have already assigned all the section and material properties. We're also going to consider the types of forces that RAM elements can import in order to design these reinforced concrete beams. The detailing module can design our concrete beams for flexure, shear, and torsion, and it will be avail able to import the direct and transfer dead loading and live loading that are being imposed on the structure along with the dead load and live load load combinations. For this particular model, we've already applied all of the loading for the dead load and the live load, including the self weight. We have already generated design and service load combinations as well. Now, before we're able to proceed over to the detailing module, we must first perform an analysis and design. As mentioned earlier, the detail, this particular detailing module works in conjunction with a RAM elements main application model only. So a valid analysis and design will be required before proceeding over to the design portion. So up in your quick access toolbar, let's go ahead and click on the analysis icon and kick off the analysis for this particular model. Once the analysis is completed successfully, you're ready to move on to the design portion. So up in your quick access toolbar, we're now going to click on the design icon. For the reinforced concrete, we're going to select the applicable code. We'll select the ACI 31814, and then we'll go ahead and click on the design button. In the status bar, you'll be able to notice that the design has been completed. We are now ready to select our concrete beams that we want to design and proceed over to the detailing module. To begin, let's hold down our shift key, use our cursor to select one of our continuous concrete beams at the roof level in this particular model. We're then going to select the modules tab in the ribbon toolbar, go to the beams icon and select concrete from the pull down menu. Now, when the concrete beam is imported from an analyzed RAM elements model, most of the information in the properties window over at the left-hand side of your screen will reflect the criteria from your main RAM elements application, and there's no need to change it here. There are, however, a few key pieces of information that we're going to take a look at and possibly modify before kicking off our optimization. Now, as far as the design code goes, the geometry and the loading information, all of that has come over from RAM elements, and you generally shouldn't change it here as it may affect your analysis results over in the RAM main RAM elements model. If we proceed along, however, we'll be able to see some additional information, mainly the longitudinal reinforcement and the transverse reinforcement sections. 
This is where you can specify the number of bars you want to be used as candidates. You can also enter the stirrup types and some additional information and so forth to basically control your design. As you now, if we were to take a look at the properties area, we're going to notice that our design code, our geometry, including our section information, and our loading information came directly from our RAM elements model. And we're not going to change them over in the detailing module as they may have effect on our overall design or analysis from our main RAM elements model. If we take a look a little further down though, we're going to discover our design data longitudinal reinforcement and transverse reinforcement can be customized once you get into the detailing module, which will help you control the design. For example, for my longitudinal bars, I would prefer number five, sixes, and sevens to be used as candidates for the optimized reinforcement. So I'll select all the, unselect all the other bars, and then we'll go ahead and click OK. You can also enter your bar quantity based on bar sizes as well. If I take a look at my transverse reinforcement, I can specify the type of bars I want to be used there and the type of stirrups. Here I'm going to select closed stirrups. If I took a look at the beam design data, I can also enter the free cover that I'm looking for for this particular model and whether or not this is an ordinary intermediate or special moment frame. Now, once I've reviewed the imported beam information, then I'm ready to proceed on to take a look at some of the other key pieces of information that are available. Let's take a look at our advanced options. So in the home tab of the ribbon toolbar, you're now going to select your advanced options icon where you can select some additional parameters, including the concrete type and the types of bars that you're going to use. Now what you're going to notice for RAM elements is that each time in a particular dialog that you select a parameter, a help window will appear over the right hand side to give you some additional information that might be helpful as you're populating your properties into the model. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now after you, you review your imported information through the properties table, let's go ahead and take a look at the diagrams area. Now within the diagrams area, you're going to notice that all of your direct loading, your transfer loading for dead load and live load from the FEM analysis has been imported successfully. You can review a variety of different diagram types here for additional load conditions. So if you wanted to verify any of your loadings that they came over successfully, you can review that information here. Now that we're taking a look at the loading that has been brought over, let's also talk about the types of design checks that RAM Elements will be able to perform for you. RAM Elements will be able to design this continuous concrete beam for flexure, shear, and torsion. It's also important to notice, though, that this detailing module does have a few limitations. Axial load is not considered, and out-of-plane bending is not considered at this point. So only your in-plane bending due to dead load or live load will be considered in the flexural design. The RAM elements detailing module does not um, check deflection limits or deep member design either. Let's go ahead and go back to the home tab in the ribbon toolbar. And if we're ready, if we've customized all of our design data information, we're ready to perform an optimization. So let's go ahead and click on the optimize icon and we're going to confirm this operation with yes. At this point, the optimization has been completed and we're going to take a look at the status bar at the bottom of your screen where you're going to see our color coded traffic light. This will indicate whether or not your design was successful or whether it failed or whether you received any warnings. Our light is green, which means that it passed all design checks and no warnings were reported. If you received a yellow warning, it would mean that your design checks passed, but it probably produced a couple of warnings through that process. And a red indicator light would mean that your design was failed. You're also going to notice that we have a check icon available here. This can be especially useful if you want to check a particular reinforcement pattern. You can specify the reinforcement you have and then ask the program to check. Again, this might be especially useful if you have an existing concrete beam and you're trying to check its capacity. 
Let's go ahead and proceed on to the detailing tab in the ribbon toolbar. And we're going to notice that we have been provided with all of our optimized reinforcement that came up during the optimization process. And we do have the ability through the tools in either the toolbar or in the data area to customize this reinforcement as needed. If you would like some additional information regarding the design checks that were performed, we can click on the report icon and see the full design results. Now this report can be saved as a text file and it could also be exported as a Microsoft Word or Excel file for further information or record keeping. And again, we're gonna notice that this was designed for flexure, shear, and torsion. Let's go ahead and close out of the report at this point. Now the last thing we're gonna take a look at is this export rebar to RAM elements. Let's go ahead and click on that icon. What basically happens when we click on this icon is the reinforcement data is sent over to your RAM elements main application model. Now this will be useful if eventually later on you would like to create an ISM repository for this particular model. If we export our rebar back to RAM elements, then the rebar that was determined in this detailing module will be available and created in that ISM repository, which then can be sent to any of your other BIM applications, such as Revit Structure or Open Building Designer. Now at this point, we've completed our process for designing our continuous concrete beams using both RAM elements main application for the analysis and our reinforced concrete beam detailing module in the modules area. At this point, we can save this model, which will save it as a beam data. And we'll be able to return to that model if at a later date we want to make any changes to the reinforcement or customize the design further. At this point, we're going to go ahead and click File, Exit. This will bring us back this will bring us back to our RAM elements main application model where we can proceed on with the design of any of our other continuous concrete beams that may be present in this particular model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.